Which of the planets in our solar system is the largest? Jupiter, as you suspected, is the planet in question. But it's not simply the size that distinguishes this globe from others. Many questions remain unresolved concerning it, which has kept scientists wondering since its discovery. Can Jupiter support life? And if so, does it have the presence of water? What is the essence of the Jupiter rings when it concerns the stability of the planet Jupiter? In this video, you'll learn about the astonishing discovery made by using Jupiter's photos beamed down to Earth. What do you know about Jupiter? It's time to meet Jupiter, our solar system's largest planet. In Roman mythology, Jupiter was the monarch of the gods. The site is enhanced by the gas giant's dazzling clouds, which are buffeted by the intensity of the winds that flow beneath its rings and moons. Jupiter's sheer enormity is astounding. More than double the mass of the rest of the planets in the solar system combined. The Great Red Spot is twice the size of Earth and the world's largest storm. The Great Red Spot will continue to astound you for the duration of this episode. Jupiter has a volume larger than nearly 1300 Earths. Jupiter would have become a star if it had expanded to be 80 times larger. Jupiter's orbit around the Sun is typically 483,682,810 miles, 778,412,000 kilometers, placing it third in distance from the Sun after Venus and the Moon. It is the third brightest object in the solar system. Although it is not entirely accurate, some scientists have referred to Jupiter as a failed star. Jupiter is too tiny to have a large enough core mass to sustain a fusion reaction. Stars can save energy by fusing hydrogen atoms into helium at high temperatures and pressures, producing light and heat in the process. Jupiter is the bright star visible in the sky. Following that, is Jupiter a curse or a blessing to Earth? It's possible that you can even spot some of Jupiter's moons. I wonder what you'd look like if you set your standards on Jupiter. Because electrons and other charged particles are trapped by Jupiter's magnetic field, the planet emits radiation that is 20 times more harmful to humans than that of Earth. The bright and black bands you observe over Jupiter were likely created by the strong east-west winds in the gas's upper hemisphere. The gravitational pull of the Sun and Jupiter affects more than 110 notable asteroids. Should we count our blessings that Jupiter orbits around Earth or count our curses? In contrast to popular belief, Jupiter's gravity actually draws potentially dangerous asteroids closer to Earth. After extensive study, scientists have concluded that the jumbo planet poses a genuine threat to humanity. Jupiter, often thought to as Earth's protective big brother, has been revealed through computer simulations to be an aggressive bully. For proponents of the Jupiter shield theory, Jupiter serves as a gigantic protective barrier between Earth and space debris like comets and asteroids. But new studies reveal that it is just as likely to pick up particles from outside our globe and send them in our direction. Some asteroids may be pushed toward the Sun by Jupiter's gravity, increasing the possibility that they will collide with Earth. When Jupiter first flared, it was hardly noticeable for two seconds until it faded out of sight. It was speculated that a large meteor blazing above Jupiter's cloud tops was the source of the flare. The next step was to seek for the characteristic black eye pattern of an impactor. Next, we look at Jupiter's moons. Astronomers utilized the Hubble Space Telescope as a final resort. However, not even Hubble could provide proof. As a result, we missed the sunrise. The plan now is to look again at Jupiter's moon. According to the following scientific discovery, one of Jupiter's moons, Io, includes massive man-made structures that mimic dunes. Scientists have long been perplexed by the dynamics at work when a single salt or ice particle calculates its course. The transition of lunar lava into sulfur dioxide beneath the moon's surface was modeled using mathematical equations. The scientists next examined the surface photos of Io captured by the Galileo spacecraft for confirmation. The crest spacing and height to breadth ratio they observed were consistent with dune patterns recorded on Earth and other planets, implying that they had developed or replicated the mechanism by which dunes emerge. Jupiter is the most resource-rich planet in the solar system with 79 confirmed moons. Ganymede holds the distinction of being the only moon with its own magnetic field. The presence of water vapor in Europa's atmosphere this year shows that the planet is likewise buried beneath layers of ice and water. JUICE, the European Jupiter icy moon probe, is set to launch in 2023 and will arrive in the Jupiter system in 2030. Moving on, Io and Jupiter's rings have proven to be quite interesting. 
To add to the list of interesting Jupiter moons, Io is worth looking into as well. Jupiter's moon Io is one of the most vol volcanism-prone objects in the solar system, spewing out more than a metric ton of material every single second. Io's distinctive pepperoni pizza hue results from the presence of sulfur and other elements found in volcanic ash. As Io orbits Jupiter, the force of Jupiter's gravity causes ties to swell in its solid surface, reaching heights of 300 feet or 100 meters. The red and blue markings on Jupiter's rings as well as the mystery of the energy ions within them are another crucial topic. It has been established by NASA's Voyager spacecraft that there are three rings. However, Saturn and Neptune have more prominent rings than any other planet. Jupiter has its own, similar set constructed mostly from the moon's dust. The principal ring is thicker than 20 miles 30 kilometers, and wider than 4,000 miles 6, kilometers. Next, the Great Red Spot. The Italian astronomer Giovanni Cassani discovered the Great Red Spot for the first time in 1665. It is a massive hurricane-like storm that has been raging for almost 350 years. The spot's shrinkage has continued for some time. However, the rate may have eased recently. Data from 32 orbits acquired during Juno's primary mission were used to construct the map, which shows the huge red spot traveling eastward at a rate of about two inches per second with respect to the rest of Jupiter's interior. Following that, can Jupiter support life? Researchers have now identified the source of the high-energy ions responsible for Jupiter's inner band. Researchers assume the ions were released by an eruption of the Io moon's volcano. The researchers detected an unusually high concentration of energetic oxygen ions near Jupiter's orbit where Amal Theor orbits closer in. There are several techniques to look for life beyond Earth, including examining Jupiter. Mars, our neighboring planet, appears to have been habitable, possibly even comparable to Venus, but it is currently facing terrible conditions. However, there has been a shift away from this topic among the scientific community in recent years. And what about Jupiter's moons? Because it works as a solvent, liquid water is necessary for life on Earth. Organic components such as proteins, carbohydrates and lipids must be produced by living creatures. Carbon, a basic element, is employed in building. Many bacteria have evolved ways to transform nitrogen in the air into a form that cells can utilize. Sulfur, phosphorus and location are all factors considered by researchers. This water, which is thought to be an ocean beneath Beneath the surface is thought to have formed when mineral-rich water was broken down by tidal pressures or radioactive decay. Although it has not yet been peer-reviewed, the study's findings may have consequences for the solar system's other moons. The government may use this knowledge to continue its quest for traces of human habitation on Europa. Next, scientists research on the water present in Jupiter. Because the Europa Clipper probe's launch is scheduled for the near future, metamorphosis has been discovered to be the process through which oceanic worlds such as Europa form. This implies that the breakdown of water containing minerals and the release of confined water would be caused by either early radioactive decay or later subsurface tidal movement, which would result in heating and increased pressure. As a result, they reasoned that aquatic settings could be particularly conducive to life. Water makes up around 00 to 20% of the molecules in Jupiter's equatorial atmosphere, according to data collected by NASA's Juno probe. It is based on a concentration of hydrogen and oxygen three times greater than that of the Sun. These differences are both astounding and alarming when compared to NASA's Galileo measurements on Jupiter. Why did they discover this? Jupiter's atmosphere turns out to be significantly drier than previously assumed. According to scientific discoveries, the further a probe dives into Jupiter's atmosphere, the more water emerges. Because of Jupiter's tremendous gravity, planets such as Earth and Saturn are pushed beyond our solar system. Jupiter has been accused of pushing the outer planets Neptune and Uranus farther away from the Sun. If you're anything like me, you're undoubtedly wondering if Jupiter has the ability to support life, as this is the case. Finally, the conclusion on scientists' findings. Scientists believe that for life to exist on Jupiter, it must be above the cloud level. The data gathered that day was utilized to create an audio recording of Juno's flyby of Ganymede, June 7, 2021. Jupiter, as the solar system's vacuum cleaner, aids in keeping the inner planets free of materials such as asteroids and comets. In these photographs, the parallels between Earth and Jupiter are remarkable. Learning about Jupiter's tumultuous atmosphere could help us understand how Earth's physical systems work. The Norwegian Sea is blooming with photoplankton on, and Jupiter's atmosphere is filled with turbulent field clouds. The oceanographer's use of Juno's images has improved our understanding of Jupiter's turbulent atmosphere. So, what do you think about life on Jupiter? Please let us know by leaving a comment. Remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.